Hey guys, what's up? It's Pass 230 back here with another video and um, today I'm gonna show you guys off my um, PC game collection which is, I've got about a handful of PC games, about seven PC games I think. Yeah, um, sorry if I sound like this because I got a, trying to recover from a cold, a flu I mean. Stayed home for a couple of days, I apologise for that. Um, so yeah, I don't want to make a long video, so yeah, let's get to it. So, first game that I have here is um, Assassin's Creed. The first one in Assassin's Creed 2 Double Pack. The first is a Director's Cut Edition. I um, also have these two games for the PS3. Um, they're both fun games. I, I would say Assassin's Creed 2 is a fan favourite for, for the the series by a lot of people um, if you haven't pay, played any of the Assassin's Creed games just um, you guys don't know what you're missing so um, you pretty much have pretty much have every single Assassin's Creed game up to Valhalla so yeah that's that's that next is um Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, which also I have for the PS3 also. Um, this this game was the first in the series to have multiplayer. Yeah, I think, yeah, multiplayer. Um, same with the PS3 version. Um, don't know how many people still play online for this game now. Um, this game's over 10 years old at this point, so... Um, uh, it's still a good game though, um, I don't want to say too much about it. Uh, it takes place immediately after Assassin's Creed 2 and before Revelation, so um, yeah. Next here is um, Dead Space, the first one. Um, I played the entire trilogy on PS3. Um, I would say this, this one is my favourite. In the series, um, e also even though two is um, also a good game, but um, yeah, and the third one is the weakest in the trilogy. So uh, this game, this game sets the new standard for horror games. They first of all games basically took the concept from Resident Evil Four and put into this game. He like, plays an engineer um, tr trying to fight his fight fight your way through a lot of necromorphs and shit like that so uh yeah I wish I had um all the disc copies but I've uh I have three for PS Plus and the first two I bought it for cheap a few years back so um yeah the if you haven't played any of the Dead Space games um what do you? I don't know what you guys are doing. You should definitely check the series out too. I'll play this one first, obviously. So, yeah, that's Dead Space. Far Cry Three Blood Dragon. Um, this is a standalone expansion to Far Cry Three. Um, it's a really good, really good expansion. Um, it takes place in the year two thousand seven. Uh, the alternative history so um this game has a lot of 80s music in here a lot of 80s references um you fight dragons and soldiers and things like that so uh it's pretty pretty short game too so uh yeah i have definitely check this game out um if you play Far Cry 3 and the rest of the games um definitely check this out it's awesome. Had that game for PS Plus too, by the way, so yeah. Um, Total War Teller, um, which came out after Total War Rome 2. Uh, I think this game takes place in the Barbarian Kingdom, I think. Dark Ages, I think. Yeah, I didn't play, didn't play this one. Um, my brother played this one, so... Couldn't say I can't say too much 
on the side though, so yeah, just another Total War game. Uh, Splinter's Tom Clancy Splinter Cell Conviction, I used to play this game a lot on the PC. The, the, the reason is um, I, uh, the, the game didn't come out for the PS3, only for PC and Xbox 360, so yeah, really fun game, even though it's a bit violent than the previous ones. Um, I would say Blacklist is a better game than this one, um, although uh, Blacklist didn't sell as much copies, and we haven't got a Splinter Cell game since, not since the 8th generation of consoles anyway, so um, yeah, hope, I hope Ubisoft brings back the series, Splinter Cell series uh, onto the PS5 and Xbox series consoles. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I can't go on too much about it. There's a co-op campaign on this as well, so I don't know if it's uh, being taken down offline. Uh, let me know in the comments. Yeah. The last game, do I, last game that I have here is um, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced War Fighter 2. Um, it's a PC developed, exclusive develop, de developed by, um, probably by a different developer, I think, I, I, I can't remember, um, although on the consoles is a third person tactical shooter, this one is first person, yeah, it's a first person tactical shooter, so, um, you play as the ghost, um, trying to stop a nuclear attack on US, so, uh, there's a lot of, there's campaign, of course, multiplayer, about 32 players, and uh, recon versus assault mode. Um, I didn't play the multiplayer of this one, just played the story. Um, yeah, the Ghost Recon series went downhill from the Advanced War Fighter games, with, uh, especially with Wildlands and Breakpoint. Um, I would say Breakpoint is probably the worst in the series, um, I'd say probably Wildlands is slightly better, which I haven't got Wildlands, those two that I mentioned on, they're up, they're on PS4, so, uh, yeah, I might try to get Wildlands, uh, Wildlands one day, so, yeah, and that's that. So, yeah, that's it, guys, for my, um, for the PC game collection, um, let me know how many PC games do you have, for your collection, um, might do an Xbox game collection next, then I'll finally do a PS3, then a PS4 collections, which, um, you guys have been waiting patiently for those, um, yeah, let me know, um, in the comments, um, yeah, that's all i got to say, so, uh, like I said before, I've got a flu trying to recover, so, hopefully I can better soon so uh but thank you guys for watching and um catch catch you guys in the next one peace